Whoa. Whoa. I felt it here and I felt it <laughs> exiting here. So this is a Leyden jar. It is used to store high voltage electric charges. And in this video I will show you how to make one and how to properly charge it. So first you need a simple plastic bottle or some sort of jar. Then you'll need some aluminum foil, a conductive nail or a screw, duct tape and scissors. Now cut the aluminum foil and roll it around the outer surface of the bottle. It does not have to look super good. You can tape the sides of aluminum foil with duct tape. We need to make a hole in the bottle cap for our nail. I am doing that by screwing in a screw. On top of this screw I will put a ping pong ball which I will wrap in aluminum foil and I will try to make it as smooth as possible. Because the less spiky it is, the less charges will run away. The important part here is that the foil has to make contact with the screw or nail. Because otherwise it will be isolated and will not transmit charges. Now fill up the bottle with tap water, almost up to the brim. Tap water already has some minerals in it and is conductive. However, to be more conductive, I would suggest to put in a little bit of salt. It really doesn't have to be much, a few pinches is enough. And yet for no reason I put in a year's supply of salt. If your Leyden jar does not work, first thing you should check is your nail or screw and is it really made of conductive metal. Because that was an error I have made. I have used a not conductive screw for this and I had to replace it with a conductive metal nail. So once you're done building the Leyden jar, let me walk you through the setup of how to charge it. But let me tell you this, Electroboom explains it much better. So if you want to go into detail how everything works, you should check out his video on Leyden jars. So first you need a PVC pipe and I'm using this black PVC pipe from my greenhouse. Then you need some synthetic material like elastic band or I'm using here a synthetic fur. You can also use a paper towel for this. Then you need to connect ground to the foil on the side of the bottle and to your hand which will hold the synthetic fur. By saying ground I literally mean connected to ground. Here I am connected through my lab bench power supply to to ground on the sock and as I have said ground needs to be connected to the hand which will hold the synthetic fur. So you charge laden jar by rubbing the PVC pipe to your selected material 
and after it is charged, you can simply discharge it through your body or some other object connected to the ground by touching the top of the laden jar. Like here, I have made an additional ball that is connected to the ground. And now, the moment you have been waiting for, me shocking myself. So enjoy! Let's try it. Not too bad, not too bad. Kinda scary, but felt it like to, uh, to hear. Whoa, whoa, I felt it here and I felt it <laughs> exiting here. It was <laughs> nice. That's a hundred. So again, I'll try it with, with my finger and I know it hurts, but it's worth it because I'm showing this to you. Ooh, okay, ground here. You can see that I'm grounded and <laughs> plus, oh my god. <laughs> oh. We interrupt this program to bring you...